When you think octopus, often you think of something big and menacing like they have in the movies. Uh, and they're really cool too. But the most deadly, the most venomous octopus is right here in the rock pools. It is the most dangerous mollusk of them all, and yet it looks like a little toy. It's so brightly coloured, it's tiny, and it lights up like a Christmas tree when it's a bit irritated. So when you've got a disgruntled octopus and it glows with bright blue, you know not to touch it. I remember my mother telling me a story about uh, when her and my father came down to the beach and they found this octopus. And my dad picked it up and played with it and it glowed bright colours. This is probably very early 60s. Because it wasn't until the 60s that people identified the blueing octopus as a dangerous animal. People used to pick it up and play with it. And often these guys didn't bite. But when they did bite, well, that's another story. see on a boat working on a painting and in that painting I decided to put a blueing octopus. Now I've seen them plenty of times before but have I really looked at them? I haven't really sketched them. I need to sketch these guys to get this painting right. And so here I am down at the beach looking for a blueing octopus. One of the interesting things is that all the octopus in the whole world are venomous. They all have a venom of some sort. It is only the blue ring octopus that can kill people with their venom. So that makes the blue ring the most dangerous of all the octopus. So I'm sketching this guy. I'm making some observations about the way these guys move. In the front they have two front feet or two front tentacles, arms, whatever you want to call them. Two front ones seem to grab and drag these guys along. The two back ones tend to just sort of like flow behind and the side ones sort of drag along like this. So a lot of the power is in the front ones, but if it wants to reverse, they grab from behind and they drag. And so sometimes, like this illustration I've got here, we've got a situation where the animal is dragging or grabbing with its front legs but it's still got its back leg on something so it's almost like it's stretching itself before it lets go of the back leg and then moves forward. Now keeping it very still for me, moving about, I've got a few more specimens here as well. They're a very dull, uninteresting grey colour uh, as they relax but then as they move around they uh, brighten up a bit. You see this beautiful, beautiful blue on them. The other thing I've noticed is also when they stretch themselves, they're not quite as colourful. It's like uh, as they stretch, they become sort of a greyer colour, and then when they bunch together, uh, it becomes bright and colourful again. Did a little experiment with uh, watching these guys stretch through a hole, and what I've noticed is as these guys stretch out, uh, they become duller in colour. They're almost like a really anemic, uh, very uncolourful thing. So it's like they stretch out, they're uncolourful, but when they come together, they're really bright and colourful again. There you go. Put these guys back where they belong. They are beautiful animals. They look like beautiful little toys. Yes, they are deadly if you get bitten by one. But if you're not going to harass them, you're not going to get bitten by one. So why not let these beautiful things live? All life is precious and beautiful. Bye, fellas. They're everywhere here now. You wouldn't want to go swimming there.
So another deadly sketch by the snake artist. Now I've got that reference. Now I'm just going to tweak that painting, make a few adjustments, sort of get it looking more right, more like a blue ring octopus. And so now with all that uh, blue ring information I've got, I'm going to do this painting, finish it off, make a few corrections, see where I went wrong. And this is often a great learning tool for me, is, uh, is when I get there and do things from memory, and then I look from real life, and then I come back and correct my memory. It's a great learning tool for me, because where I get it wrong is where I can learn. You can't learn without getting stuff wrong. The venom in just one blurring octopus is considered so venomous that it's able to kill 10 big bearded men or 35 normal people. If you have enjoyed this video, check out my YouTube channel. You know, you might see some other videos you like, you might want to subscribe. You want to go straight to me with a live snake. Here I am sketching a live snake. Check out that video. And if you want to see some more how to draw videos, over here we've got the how to draw videos. Whatever you do, you know, I love it when people try and draw like I do, but whatever you do, stay safe, okay? And we'll see you in the next video.